I'm trying to sleep and now have a look at this. This is like the measuring device. Um, as you can see, uh, the Wi Fi is off. So, can you see the symbol? That's the fourth symbol. Wi Fi has been disabled. I can show you. Oops, sorry. Yeah. Wi Fi is disabled. Listen to this. Look first of all at this light, the red light. Look what the red light does. And now listen to this. next to me. And look at the red light. I am trying to sleep. I had my muscles pulsed. I have got stuff shot into my head. This is now on my skull. Sorry, it's really loud. Um, that a moment ago was just on my skull when it was really loud. And I am trying to sleep. It is 3 a.m. in the morning and I am being tortured non-stop. And before I turned on the laptop, the speed pattern this little red light coming on all of this was present before I turned on the laptop and there are no signals up here and I am being tortured I can't sleep I had my limbs moved against my will I had my muscles pulsed in a certain pattern I had a painful pencil beam drilled into my skull and meanwhile this shit's going on. Sorry, this is extremely loud. But... This is now... I'm just holding it still now and you can see the red light come on because frequencies are being pumped in that are challenging this thing so it might be on green but there's other stuff pumped into the home as well and it is impossible to sleep I was trying to cover my head with metal pots and pants. I had a pencil beam drilled into my hip. Then I had my legs moved, literally against my will. I had muscle pulses and my brain is being worked non-stop. I have got intense pain in my head. It feels like there's pressure on my head. It feels like there's a load on my head. A headache keeps moving around inside my head at the speed of seconds. And basically, what I am is now at the mercy of this, what must be the supercomputer Dr. Robert Duncan speaks about, that is literally working my brain non-stop at 3 a.m. And I cannot sleep because the Nazi degenerates at the BND have taken me and my family and basically I don't think they're even testing their military equipment anymore they've got all the tests we are showcasing 
they are showcasing us and I bet you there's some sort of China link because the clinical psychopath who they moved in next to my parents house the person who I'm convinced is a clinical psychopath her best friend is Chinese and the China theme has been running throughout my entire harassment there have been Chinese people cropping up left right and center and what I'm saying is it seems to be the case that we were picked by the BND as a harmless family without any connections to the old Nazi families here in Germany and they are trying our kit they are training their little grunts on the basis of my family my siblings and myself they're running social experiments on us they're running physical experiments on us and they are punching the shit into our home as we're trying to celebrate Christmas these Nazi degenerates are pumping the shit into our home and I don't even know what the fuck that is this is a modulated beam and the beat pattern that you can hear is fairly low frequency it is in the order of magnitude of Hertz not megahertz which is why you can hear it and this is the shit that goes on every night and this mind control remote body control bullshit was mimed out was announced and mimed out the night before my third high court appearance where I was begging for an emergency injunction and my case was thrown out by Judge Holgate but the night before MI5 put on a little mime where I was going for a walk and just behind St James's Square which is one of the most surveyed areas in London they had a guy on a bike in camouflage with a big German flag and a ginormous helmet with little green LEDs running around it miming out German military mind control that is MI5 taking the piss out of a high court litigant before mutilating her harder and harder and harder in conjunction with the German BND and here I am now Christmas Day 2016 or it's Boxing Day rather 2016 at 3am in the morning and have this shit punched into me by a bunch of degenerate Nazis who set a script running and now I've got a supercomputer taking over my brain punching painful microwave beams into me and taking my entire life systematically apart so that a bunch of old wankers can jack one off and that a bunch of corrupt BND people can teach the Chinese how to demolish their most productive assets isn't this great it is now I'm not sure if you can see it half past 3 a.m. in the morning and this is oh by the way I still have the mug shots of these wankers up here look I can show you essentially the people who are doing this are Andrew Parker Alex Younger these programs were run by Gerhard Schindler and now it's done by Dr. Bruno Karl. These four men, they are responsible. They are responsible for this shit. Alec Andrew Parker for MI5 on the left. Alex Younger, head of MI6, these days called SIS, the Secret Intelligence Service. Gerhard Schindler, who got sacked from the BND, thank fuck, most likely, given how they've been run. 
And by the way, the day he was sacked, I was attacked by an unmarked helicopter who microwaved me with a crowd control weapon as I was standing on my rooftop terrace of my home. And that dude, that guy is Dr. Bruno Karl, who runs the BND now. These four people are in charge of the psychopaths who do this bullshit. Maybe you should write to them and ask them to stop.